Vermilion County is home to a peer court program. Offenders appear, appear before their peers for offenses that are deferred to the peer court program. Jen Thompson learned that the program is changing lives, and she joins us now with that interesting story. Jen. Yeah, Mike, Vermilion County held their first peer court in August of 2021, and leaders say they've held a couple each month ever since. Have a look. I've been with the prosecutor's office for almost eight years, and I saw a lot of juveniles come through here, and a 13, 14, 15-year-old kid shackled is heartbreaking to me. That's Tia Hyde. She's the administrator for the peer court at the Vermilion County Prosecutor's Office. So I wanted something that I could do to help these kids and make them realize that you can make mistakes and it's not going to be the end of the world. After Hyde's nephew went through a similar peer court program in Danville, Illinois, Hyde knew that was something she could do to help the kids. Intrigued, Hyde, her teenage daughter, and her daughter's friend sat through the experience in Danville. That's when Hyde made it her mission to start Vermilion County's version. Any misdemeanor charge can be ran through peer court. The charges can come from the prosecutor's office, even referred from school. Fighting, vaping tobacco and marijuana, underage drinking and battery might land a kid in front of a jury of their peers. And in order to appear in peer court, they have to admit that yes, they did wrong because that, you know, they don't have like a real attorney type of thing. A diversion agreement is signed when entering the peer court program. The program consists of a defense attorney, a prosecutor, and a jury with a foreman, all made up of peer aged volunteers. And it's set up just like a jury trial, and they deliberate just like a jury would. The offender is questioned, their parent or guardian is questioned, and the peer volunteers are giving a sentencing perimeter. Sentencing might include community service, writing apology letters, drug and alcohol classes, and coming back to serve on the other side of the courtroom. They deliberate, they give them their sentence, and from that date, they've got three months to complete it. As long as they complete, that charge is diverted. Hyde says the program is life-changing for everyone involved, including high school senior Callie Stambaugh, who has served in many roles in the courtroom. Things that these kids have said, the reasons why, the reasoning behind everything is just very eye-opening. Through the program, many kids have learned that they aren't a bad person. They just made a mistake. And volunteers like Callie find themselves thinking about their future and the difference they can make in the lives of others. I want to be a therapist that would be able to help these kids instead of just being able to yell at them. Vermilion County's peer court program is always looking for more peer volunteers. Middle and high school students from North Vermilion and South Vermilion are eligible. To get involved, leaders say show up with your signed volunteer and confidentiality form. And the next peer court date is scheduled for October 10th at 6 p.m. at the Vermilion County Courthouse.